get in. Dunk it. Yay! Okay, so I've got dinner going. Um, let me show you guys what it is. It's not Martha Stewart or anything, but I, I'm doing um, Alfredo pasta and some peas. You know, you just gotta, you gotta just do what works. And in our family, that works. Just pasta and any sauce and a vegetable, and that's that's what we do. But I wanted to um, ask really quick. Okay, so I got home after work, and I noticed that Arthur he has like a little rash on the side of of his face, and um, he just turned one. So we have introduced the dairy milk. We just sort of dove straight into it. So um, I'm just so clueless. Like, okay, so I want to cut out the dairy, but I don't know kind of like what milk alternative to do. My, um, I did ring the pediatrician and um, he had recommended pea milk, this brand Ripple. So if anyone's ever tried that with their kiddo before, um, like did it go well, did it work? Does anybody have any kind of, any other dairy alternatives? I would love to hear any advice or um, kind of like what you did to make it work because I definitely don't want him to be suffering or have any kind of rash, especially on his face. So I'm all ears. Anyway, I've got dinner finished up. I'm gonna tidy up the house because um, I hate, I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely hate leaving the house um, to go on vacation or go on any kind of trip and then coming back home to a messy home. So I wanna tidy up. I um, need to pack our bags. There's so much to do. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and uh, hopefully this will motivate me to get it all done. Okay, so I went ahead and made a list. Um, you might think that you will remember everything, but chances are you will forget. So this helped me a lot. Make a list, um, especially when you're traveling with littles. It's so important to you know, anticipate anything that could happen. So I packed some really comfy onesies. You wanna make sure that they are comfortable when you're traveling, especially long distances. Um, and just you know, have some multiple outfits ready for anything that might, uh, that might happen. Of course, I had my little helper there helping me pack. And then finally, I just packed a few things that I thought would make our stay a little bit more convenient and comfortable. So a pack and play um, instead of the uncozy ones they have at the hotel and then also the um, sound machine. Tell me you have kids uh, without telling me you have kids. Oh my gosh. All right, the button there, we are all packed. This is my probably my favorite part of driving downtown uh, Kansas City but I did want to say so my husband Sean is a soccer coach and this is what this trip was for so we went down to St. Louis with him to you know support him and and really just make it a family vacation was on our way back from Destin was it uh, yep. I don't remember dri oh yeah 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 because we stopped we met Kirk and Tommy for lunch that was like our stop on the way back that's you know, right, I and remember now. we drove now. back in this weather. This is exactly the weather we drove back in, too. Because then you put an Instagram story saying... Was it? And it was May, though. We went May, May, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Where we lived the Fox Ridge. Yep. Good, good times. The old days. So as we were about halfway through our trip to St. Louis, you know, keep in mind, this is a two-lane all the way. There was an accident. So we were in stop and start traffic for... 30 whole minutes and I do not know how this little one did it but he um, <laughs> he was so patient and we did eventually get there with minimal fuss so um, I don't think anyone was injured but it definitely kind of put a little a little damper on our trip and we got there a little bit later than we hoped to. And finally, we arrived at the hotel. It did take a little bit to get into the room, so we just waited in the lobby. But guys, how like toasty and cute and warm is this lobby? It was so nice to be out of the car. <laughs> okay, so don't mind my hair. It is raining here today, so my hair is like all poofy and, and frizzy, so don't mind it. But we are back from Target here 
and um, I actually stayed behind. So Sean went to his one of his tournament games uh, this morning. We're go uh, Arthur and I will go to his afternoon game, but honestly, the morning nap is crucial. Any moms understand? Like, I their schedules are totally thrown off when you you go on vacation. So it's really important to me. I don't know about you guys, um, but to try to keep like a like a semblance of a normal schedule, like got to keep those naps, right? So we stayed behind. We did. We stayed behind. We're going to try to get a really good nap. And then we're meeting some family friends for lunch at two. And so then, yeah, after lunch, then we'll head to the game and find out if we're going to have to stay another day because if the, if his um, soccer team makes it, then we're going to be in the finals tomorrow. So we'll see. I want to show you guys what I got. I'm actually really proud of myself. So I stuck with the necessities because usually at Target, I'm getting I'm getting like things I don't need, but I picked up some of this Staple Baby bottle and dish soap. So I'm excited to try this because I've never, I've always seen this, but I've never got it. Ah, 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 stay away, stay away from that. Um, and then I picked up just a few things for Arthur. Um, so a couple of these pouches, these Once Upon a Farm pouch, um, pouches, I love these. These are like a staple in our house and Arthur loves them. And then just a couple jar foods to kind of get them through the day. Little snacks and stuff. Hi. Hi. The sun came out just in time for the game and they won. So we ended up staying um, another day for the tournament. They made the final. Um, and then we got to go to lunch uh, to see some family friends and Arthur was being such a flirt. He got a new toy and so he was so excited. Get mama. Get mama. Get mama. Yeah. Get mama! Yeah. Get mommy! Get mommy! Ah! This was the last day of our trip in St. Louis. Uh, they ended up, the soccer team, they lost, so they didn't win in the final, but we found this really cute park, um, and we had our Chipotle lunch here, and got to sit out on the lawn. It was very beautiful, and it just made for a great um, last day on the trip before we headed home.